there, welcome to the vlog. So today's goal is to work here in my office loft area. I'm gonna share that with you today. I've worked in a lot of areas of the house but I've been kind of saving this one. So I'm gonna share my new office space with you today and we're gonna work on starting to try to get some things put away. I got an awesome new piece. I'm gonna start getting that in place. And that's my big goal for today is to start to clear out my office and get things organized. But my other thing that I'm doing today is getting new hair. So I finally got a hair appointment up here. I'm gonna be going to get that done. And so I will share hopefully my new office space and my new hair with so you So first things first, the space. So here's the stairs where you can see like going down. We're in the top level. And this is the first time I've ever had like an open space like this for my office. I chose this space, there was two office spaces in the house. I chose the space because I had the big bank of windows there, there's a big window there, so there's a lot of light up here. But then also, this is bigger than the other office space. So it's actually, I think, a little bit bigger than the last office that I had as well. So you can see I've got this big piece over there. I've got my desk free floating right here that I had at my previous place. We've got the printer, I've got my mirror, um, and I've got a uh, credenza thing right here. But for um, extra space, I also had a purse display area that I got rid of that cabinet before we left the last house. And I had a small mirrored um, drawer thing that actually got broken during the move. So I'm very excited because this arrived. You can get this on Amazon. I'm also gonna put a link down below. Um, Vingley sent me this beautiful mirrored cabinet, perfect timing. And I'm gonna put it over here in the corner to use as a charging station. And then it's got drawers all the way down to house extra accessories and things like that. So this is gonna replace the one that I lost during the move. And then I'm hoping over here then I can do like an accessories area and um, you know have like a little like clothing accessory rack for my Amazon videos so that is going to be on a future video but today we are going to open this little cabinet up and it's not a jewelry armoire I don't know what you would call this it's like a little um, mini dresser um, it's got the drawers down and it's actually a little bit bigger than the one I had previously so I really think it's going to have a great amount of space so I'm just going to open it down the side it came really well packaged with tons of styrofoam all the way around it which I will share here because I've kind of shared um, took some videos on my phone as I was opening it down but what I'm going to attempt to do is just open it down the side here slip these pieces of styrofoam out so we can just get rid of those and then I'm just gonna try to move it right over here in the corner and then get it all put together. So I just put the four legs onto the bottom, just screwed them into the bottom. I'm gonna put it upright and then turn all the handles around so that the drawers have handles on them. Then each drawer has a drawer pool on the interior, so I'm just going to go ahead and reverse that out and then put those on the outside. Those are shipped on the interior so they don't break during shipping. So this is what those look like. And then down in the top, I also found the instructions and some packets, we'll take those out. So then I just have to reverse these drawer pulls all the way down and put the screw through there and then just put the drawer pull on the outside. So I got all the drawer pulls installed and you can see what those look like all the way down. And so the drawers are really ample size 
and they have a bit of lining to them. I also like that they have a smooth glide because you never really know what you're going to get when you order furniture on the internet. So I like that this has a really nice glide on it. So each of the drawers is the same size and it has mirrored sides on both of the sides all down the front and then these little kind of angled pieces as well. So I'm going to load this up with accessories and get some of these things that are in the baskets put in here and that will really help organize my office. I also appreciate that it came with this cleaning cloth so that way you can keep fingerprints off the mirror because it does also have a mirrored top as well which is just reflecting the wall behind it but it does have a mirrored top so i'm going to get this loaded up so you can see how much it holds and i'm excited about this next step and getting my office organized so I'm going to load up everything I was stowing away in these baskets. So in this top drawer, I want to keep camera supplies and things that I need to get at a little bit more readily available. And then I need a drawer for my Oculus. So I'm going to go ahead and use this drawer for my Oculus and accessories. And then I also have some crafting pieces that I need to put in here. I have all my badges from prior conferences and things like that. I like to display them occasionally. It's not important to really anyone but me, but I, you know, I like to save all of these things. So I'm going to put that in the next drawer down. So that's what those look like separated out by type of event. And I do like to reuse those lanyards. So I pull them out and we use them occasionally. And also a couple of these have the kids trading pins on them as well. So I'll keep those handy for future trips. I'm going to stash away extra electronics and electronic accessories. Then third drawer down. The fourth is where I put my Oculus. And then I have a drawer where I have a little train case that I got from Marshall Fields. And I'll also put some of my extra sunglass cases down there. So all in all, this is going to help get some of those small accessories that just need easy access to a lot of times. Just have a home for all of those different things and be able to stow them away when I'm not using them. And then over here in the corner, the kids have taken to using this as a charging station. So I just used one of the extra baskets that I had left over to kind of house all their electronics. I think that's pretty much a temporary solution for right now. But this looks a lot better over in this corner. And I have a ton more stuff stowed away that was just kind of sitting in baskets here on the floor. And that is much more presentable and easy to find. So this definitely helped just organize the side of the room and create that home for those things that I had previously in a piece that got broke during the move and this is going to work out great to replace that. To finish off the area I still have my Disney Princess shoe collection and these are ornaments that go over here on this ornament holder. I think this is going to look really nice on this mirrored piece so I am going to go ahead and get these hung up on there and that will finish off this area nicely. And that is what it looks like all filled up over here in the corner. Those are all of my shoes and then I have two of the handbag ornaments and this collection of ornaments has now been discontinued so I'm glad I got them when I did. I did have one casualty, actually two casualties, of wings during the move but hopefully I'll just be able to kind of put those back on there but overall they all made it pretty well intact. We just lost some wings on Tinkerbell and a wing off of the three fairies. But there is what it looks like on the cabinet and I think that kind of completes it very nicely. So here is what this area is looking like and it looks a lot better. So I had all those baskets just kind of temporary housing things. They're just going to move mainly over to closets to help organize. Uh, but this looks beautiful in the space. I think it's going to be an incredibly functional piece. And I really love the way that it looks as well. Thank you for sending this to me for my office. It was perfect timing because I had just lost the other piece during the move. And this is going to work perfect. So I'm going to switch gears here and go get ready to have my hair done. So fingers crossed that I like that experience because it'll be my first time trying out the new hair salon. And I want to go a little bit darker for fall. I want to do like a darker color with like caramel highlights. So we'll see how it turns out. 
and see if that's what I end up with. Okay, I'm heading out to my hair appointment and this should probably look a little different whenever I get done, hopefully. <laughs> okay, here is the after. I am back after my hair appointment. I've got to run inside and get a couple things to go run a few errands after um, or before the kids get home. But this is my new fall hair, so I'll have to show you in like more natural light because it's probably not coming up on the camera right now. But you can probably definitely tell it is definitely darker. Uh, so mission accomplished on that. Um, but it's a darker and I got it a little bit shorter. I actually had intended to get it cut a little bit shorter, but she talked me out of it. So. <laughs> This is what happens when I go to the hairdresser. Like I go in and I ask for something and they talk me out of it. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but um, anyhow, I have still have longer hair. I wasn't going to get it cut a bit shorter, but anyhow, um, I got to go run these errands and then the kids will be home from some Amazon things that my husband did not need to use, some ceiling fan brackets and stuff like that. Um, to the UPS store. We're gonna ship those back and then I'm gonna go pick up a couple of things and then the kids will be home from school here shortly. So I'm gonna wrap things up here. But this is what my hair looks like in natural light and I was wanting to go darker. There's a little bit of um, color on my face. I do know that but I have not. I tried to put some rubbing alcohol to get it off but just put my hair like that. Um, so I think this will be fun for fall and for Halloween and so let me know what you think down below. Do you like me with the darker hair, the lighter hair? What is your favorite on me? Um, and I was wanting to go shorter, so do you think I should go shorter or not? I've got some towels in the dryer, or that I need to get in the dryer from the washer. And one more load of laundry I'm gonna get started. And then it is going to be dinner time. I'm boiling some water to do some hard boiled eggs. So I'm getting that going. And for dinner tonight, we are gonna have this chicken miso ramen. The kids picked this out at Target. We've had this one time before and it was really good. Everyone enjoyed this. So we got it one more time. Um, and I always make some extra hard boiled eggs on the side so everyone can have their own egg. So I'm getting that going. And then this actually goes pretty quickly uh, because you just have to heat it up and then put the extra ingredients in. So I'm gonna get another pan out for this to get this going and we're gonna have some ramen for dinner so I'm still enjoying these pots so these handles do not get hot the ones that are longer and stick off of the sides the only ones that do have a bit of heat are these ones that are like basically like right attached to the sides of these so I still use pot holders with this one but it is true to what the side of the box says as far as not holding the heat for the ones with the longer handles. Like I can grab this and it has like no heat on it whatsoever. So I'm just heating these things up to a boil real quick and dinner will be done pretty quickly. This only takes about 10 minutes to make, which is nice. But um, it has like the sauce that goes in there, has the noodles, and then there's a vegetable topping and then I add the hard boiled eggs. So it shows that in the picture, everything is in the picture except for the eggs. So if you want the eggs, you have to add that on your own. So here's what the ramen looks like. I still have to put an egg in that one. It turns out pretty good and it only takes about 10 minutes to make. So I'm gonna get everyone at the table and have dinner. Not you though. No, let's sit. I've got the dishwasher all loaded up so the sink is clear and I'm going to go ahead and run that so that way we have clean dishes for in the morning. But I wanted to share because I don't think I've ever showed this in a video. We got these stickers off of Amazon and these are stickers that actually are meant to be put on uh, well, we use these little Rubbermaid containers or whatever plastic containers you use and they're handy because you can write the date of the item on there and then you just put the plastic container in the dishwasher with the sticker on there and these are meant to go in the dishwasher. It just dissolves off. So these have been super handy. I just write the date on there so we have leftovers um, and then we know exactly you know when they should be tossed and how long they um, are going to last. So I'm going to put these hard boiled eggs. I'm going to put today's date on. So that is today's date. And these will probably be gone in a couple days. But in the event that they're not, then we know exactly the date of the items in there. And like I said, you can just stick it right in the dishwasher with these on there. They're specifically designed for it. I'm trying to see if I can find the link for them and put them down below. But we have really enjoyed using those. We've used those for about the past two years. And they're super duper handy. But I just don't think I've ever showed that. 
in a video before, so I thought I'd share it, it today. for today. That is about almost time for to do the bedtime routine, showers, and all the good stuff. So if you've enjoyed following along today, let me know down in the comments whether you prefer my summer hair, my fall hair, or if you think I should go shorter. I'm interested to see what you think. And we'll be back with some more vlogs pretty quick here. We're going to be getting ready for our travels coming up in October and all kinds of fun and exciting things ahead. So thanks for watching and have a great day.